All right, so we just had dinner and uh, can't find London. I gotta find London. She's in here. What? She fell asleep as she was eating dinner? Yeah, she was watching these. And she fell asleep, look, she still has, still has the fork in her hand. She grabbed the burger. <laughs> so this is what happens when London wasn't able to take a nap. Sometimes she can't take a nap, or she doesn't want to take a nap. She crashes later in the day. Oh, shit talking mushrooms. Don't post that on YouTube! Po, 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 po. Hi guys, what's up? So today's kind of a bittersweet day here. Um, I'm giving away my car. My white car that I've had since I was 25. I'm 38 now, so I've had this car for about 14 years. Um, I had it back before I even met Kel, before I had kids, before I settled down anything. In fact, this was my bachelor car. This was my dating car, guys. Been on many dates in this vehicle. So, yeah, little piece of me is dying today. Oh man, look at all this trash. Look at all those receipts. I was kind of messy. More receipts down in there. Alright, so I was kind of messy with my car. Alright, so in here, in my trunk, I had kind of a survival kit. In case if I ever got stranded, I got boots, an extra pair of socks. I have this here. So it's like this battery, like you know, if I needed to ever jump start my battery, car battery, or if I ever needed to put air in my tires I had this thing here which works really nice but the use is turning off and then what we got here I have another set of jumper cables and a few other I think like a flashlight whatnot and then I had a blanket here if I ever got stranded and then a tow if I ever need to tow anyone, or if I ever need to be towed, I have this rope here to be towed with. Uh, just kind of a face mask there. Oh, actually it was a head warmer thingy. And a few other things, I'm not sure what that is. Plus, uh, antifreeze I believe. I don't know, it's worn off now. So I was pretty prepared. All right, let's take a look in this thing here. That's empty. Let's look at this. Whoa! Got some old CDs in here. What do we even have? Whoa, like Nickelback, Bon Jovi. Got some Bon Jovi CDs. I haven't listened to these in a long time. Depress mode. Heck yeah. Never depress mode. We use depress modes. New Order, The Killers, Classics. Well, so I just got done cleaning out the glove department there. I still have the old 2003 owner's manual for this Elantra. I'm gonna keep that in there. And then this is really cool. I still have my contract of when I bought this years ago. From Carl Malone, Toyota. Yeah, Carl Malone, the basketball player. He like has his name on a dealership. So I'm just showing Carol the old, uh, I guess, contract of the vehicle. That yeah, I bought. his like bill of sale here, and it's got like the original like disclosure stuff, and it says that there was thirty five thousand miles on the car when I first bought it. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so I'm burning up all the old car paperwork. The history of the car. All the old information about my car that I've had for the last like oil changes, like mostly receipts, 
paperwork, the contract. Don't need it anymore, so it's all just gonna be burned and thrown away. What? I'm gonna look, all three of them are just chilling on the couch. Peace and quiet. You got one, two, and three. That's what you like. If only, if only it was peaceful this often. Hey, no! Sit down! Sit down! It was cute! Special. It was cute! <laughs> no, sit down! Go! You were in a cute moment! Hi, guys. I um, think I got everything cleared out in my old car. And I think I'm gonna take her for one last spin around the block. Alright, so I got my camera on a tripod here, so that way I'll be able to drive. But let's go ahead and start it. Alright, so it has 141,000, a little over 141,000 miles on it for 2003. So that's actually pretty low. I don't drive this a lot, so usually a car that's this old would have a lot more miles on it than that. Alright, so I think I got the camera set up here. So I'm going to take my car for one last spin, guys. Alright, guys, so the reason why I'm getting rid of this car is because I don't need it anymore. I don't ever drive it. It usually just sits in the driveway. And um, where we're moving to, it's not really going to work out because the area is more rough terrain than than the city life here we're gonna be more out in the country so uh, I'm not gonna really need this I'm gonna need something more off-roadish or like a truck or an SUV but um, I have a younger brother not Uncle Jay but my other brother who uh, he doesn't have a car right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and just give this to him um, he needs it a lot more than I do obviously so I'm just gonna give it to him um, I've had this car for let's see I bought it back in 2005 it's about 14 years and it was only two years old when I first bought this car this car only had 35,000 miles on it and it now has 141,000 miles on it so you know what it's been a really good car um, it's the first time I bought a car without having to have my parents co-sign with me and um, it's been a special car just because it, it really got to kind of show I really kind of got to just show that I can be independent and uh, it was like the first time in my life I was able to be independent and whatnot and um, I've had this car longer than I've known Carol I've had it longer than I've had the kids it was my dating car this is <laughs> You know, this was my bachelor car, and uh, I, I would pick up a lot of dates in this car, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I've come a long ways, you know, I've gone from just dating around a lot to, uh, you know, being a father of three, and being married, and owning a house and all that, and, uh, you know, there's just been a lot of changes, and I've changed a lot during those years, and uh, this car just... It's just time to let her let her go you know it's she's been a really good car she's never broke down on me nothing best car i've ever had so you know i'm pretty attached to this car and it's gonna be hard to let her go but i know she'll be a good a good uh transportation vehicle for my younger brother heading back home now drove around the block I'm gonna miss this car. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, guys. I'm gonna miss it. I've never owned a vehicle as long as I had with this. All my other cars before this were just pieces of crap. So this was like the first nice car that I that I was able to afford to get at the time. It was, uh, I mean, it was used, but it was it was only like two years old at the time. 
So at the time I had the newest car in the family, in the entire family, and now I have the oldest car in the entire family. So had a lot of memories in this car. Remember um, bringing Leland home after he was born in this car. Um, remember me and Carol back when we were dating, we used to drive around. I used to have these big old speakers in the back seat. She always thought those were dumb. And um, yeah, just a lot, a lot of memories. I'm just taking it in, guys. I'm just, sorry, I'm just. I know it might sound kind of corny, kind of cheesy to some of you guys, but. You know, this car just represents when I was able to first get my life in order, you know, and be independent. And it's harder, it's harder to let that go. It's always been a symbol for me. Do you guys remember the time when Leland busted this mirror with a hammer? All right, after several hours of crying, we're now having dinner. And uh, here are the kids. And the cats. And the cats on this side. And uh, the kids don't yet know about giving away my car, so I'm gonna have to break the news to them right now, I guess. London. Hi. Are you eating spaghetti? Uh huh. We finally got Leland off the Xbox. <laughs> Hi, Leanna. You enjoying your spaghetti? Mm -hmm. Hi, Carol. Are you enjoying your spaghetti? Yeah. So, we have to say goodbye to my car today. Yeah, I'm glad. Really Leanna, you, you had a name for my car. What the White Derby. It? She oh. named it the White Derby. Oh, White okay. Derby. R.I.P. White Derby. The white derby. Yep. It's not dying though. It's just going to someone else. I think Daddy's crying. Uh -huh. I'm by the car. Can I take any room? Trying to focus that down. Oh, relax. It's just a car, dude. Da 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 da. Oh, he sold this car, so he's pretty upset. No. So. He looks what? ashamed. Ashamed, oh. I say. Alright, uh, Leland, are you? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna give you the car. You're not even 16 yet. Stop being 16 years. You want the car to just sit there on the driveway for another six years? No, I'll drive. Think how much older it's gonna be. No, you're not gonna drive until you're 16. Well, maybe 15 and a half, because you're gonna need to get a learner's permit and all that stuff. You're gonna need to learn how to drive. I'm gonna drive. You can't drive. You're too young, even though you've done it a few times. What does he want to do? He wants to keep the car. He wants me to keep the car. He Well, he wants the car. He wants my car. Oh, speaking of which. Who is that? Oh, there's the new there's the new owner right there. Hey, what's up? What's up? Sorry, Leland, you can't have the car because your uncle is getting the car. I want it. No, sorry. You can't. Right, Leland, so you need to say goodbye. No, you're not having it. It belongs to your uncle. Bye, Leland. No, nope. oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, it's my car now. It's, un uh, it's Uncle Corey's. Oh. He gave it to me. Oh, he car. You don't have the keys. Oh, you can't get in. Oh. 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 No. Okay, well. He's he's already busted the mirror once. I had to replace the mirror. That's why it's black on there. Not old enough to drive yet. That's why it's black. <laughs> You'll notice that the mirror is black on the driver's side and it's white on the other. <laughs> well, what happened to it? Well, we did a skit where Leland broke the window oh, with a yeah. hammer. My car. What are you doing, Leland? Get off! Get off. It's not your car. It's your uncle's. Get off of the car. It's your uncle's. No, London, it's your uncle's. She wants it too. No, no. You guys can't have the car. It belongs to your uncle now. How old is she now? All right, you say bye to your uncle. No! He's not even old enough to drive. Oh, yes, the key. Unless he knows how to hotwire the thing, I doubt it. He, okay, you don't even have the key. Oh, whatever, I'm done. I'm done, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want it? Yeah. 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 Do you want it? Ye
Do you want to drive it? Too? <laughs> Wanda wants to go in too. <laughs> Just take them all, Coy. Take my kids, oh, take my I car. I can't handle kids. Take everything. Right. I'm, in a, I'm in a given mood today. You can have my kids too. I don't think I want them. <laughs> I don't blame Nothing you. Nothing personal. I yeah. love them. I just don't want to take them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. Spaghetti sauce? Got spaghetti sauce all over her face. <laughs> well, you know what we had for dinner. <laughs> Hi, London. Are you, are you in uh, what used to be daddy's car seat? <laughs> hey, don't, don't touch the gears. Away now. I'm not going to look back. I'm not going to look back. This is really hard on me. Oh. Ah, uh, oh, I look back. I look back. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, there it goes. Oh, there goes my car. Oh, man. <laughs> He's going to have fun with that timing belt. Bye, car. Bye. Thank you for 14 awesome years. It's gone. It's done. It's done, Carol. It's done. It's, it's gone. Done. My call's gone. It's the end of an era. End of a very long era. You are no longer having any attachment to your bachelorhood. I was like, oh, you've killed me a little piece of the time. And now the bachelor. <laughs> now look at you. This is your life. This is my life. There was Forever one. In the minivan. Forever in the minivan. I'm buying me a truck. <laughs>